When using center lines, it's not the measurement from the outside edge of the post to the other outside post edge that matters. It is the distance from the center of that post to the center of that post that matters. So when you snap your lines, you're gonna put a pin in the center end on each end and place your lines. There's a line on each face. These lines are parallel or orthogonal to one another, depending on which set you're looking at. So there's gonna be an imaginary plane between this line and the opposing line. And again, between this line and that line, there's a plane created. And where those two planes intersect, that is this imaginary center of the timber. And it's that line that all of your measurements are taken from. So there's an invisible tenon inside of here. And that tenon's measurements, let's pretend that it goes to right here. Then that measurement, all the way to this measurement is the length from the end of the tenon to the end of the tenon. But we can't just completely ignore this because this shoulder does need to fit here instead of having weird gaps. So when you're using center lines, you're frequently going to either have fully housed tenons that help compensate for that, or you're going to do some sort of spot sizing or reductions like this visible reduction here. So this is a five by five. So let's pretend that this distance from here to here is two and a half inches and that the timber at this point had this little extra bit beyond the two and a half inches. So this is being sized down or reduced so that it's the exact right dimension to accommodate the shoulder of this tenon. Your center line joinery is done well. You're going to see all of your lines match up which is a very satisfying feeling.